all kinds of tawaf, including optional tawaf, consist of how many circuits? Seven circuits. The Kaaba should be to your left, as we said. Tawaf shall be performed within the boundaries of Masjid al Haram, not all the way outside the Haram. I'm doing tawaf from the best tawaf I can do, you know, mashallah, all around the Masjid al Haram. No, you do it right in front of the Kaaba, the closer, the better. However, however, during very peak times, if the Mataf area, Mataf means the place of tawaf. I have to mention this, I'm sorry. But if I say to you, for example, Sajda is a place of prostration, uh, is, is prostration. So the place of prostration is where? Masjid. So that meme is ismul ma- like telling you the makan, the place. The tawaf, mataf. Sajda, masjid. It's very simple. Ta'am is food. So what's mataam? MashaAllah. So this is Arabic, but one thing to remind us that mataf, sahan, that basin where we do the tawaf, right? Where we perform the tawaf, okay? Um, remember that it's not always, inshallah, 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 ya Rabb, we make dua, Allah makes it easy and we will do it there. But sometimes it's very busy, maybe so busy that you'd have to go to the first floor or second floor. That could happen. In that case, if the staff or the volunteers or the police inside Masjid Haram tell you to do that, don't do something else. Follow their instructions, okay? But we, we as a group will do things together, uh, always, and you can follow us, keep with us, keep together, okay? That's important. Um, one more thing, some people will use wheelchair. Wheelchairs are not permitted on the ground floor. If you're using a wheelchair, you need to use it on the first floor, or second floor, I think it's changing all the time, so I think second floor, first floor, but we'll find out when we're there. But I will have dedicated staff members, we always have, and volunteers who will take you to that area where even they have electronic um, for Sa'i to go, Safa and Marwa as well, to go around. So I'm not sure if the Tawaf one is electronic, but definitely between Safa and Marwa is electronic. It's a long queue, but it's easier to go. So this is very important. You need to be clear from, from your home country, from your residence, how you're going to plan your Tawaf. And if you are not able to walk, if you need a wheelchair, you need to plan and prepare from now. Don't wait till Makkah and decide. Try to think now. Can I walk? I can assure you, most of you should be. If you can walk from generally, Tawaf is easy. It's the Sa'i, the Safa, Marwa may be difficult. Then you can maybe hire something uh, or push yourself or whatever other solution we can find for you then. But some of you cannot actually walk Right? Some elderly uh, aunties cannot walk during Hajj. They need to ensure that somebody, a family member, has to push them. The state of wudu is required for all kinds of tawaf. Any tawaf you do, you need to have wudu. Not only tawaf al khudum or tawaf al umrah. Uh, a, a woman in menstruate, a menstruating woman or a woman in a, a hayd or nifas or what we, what we call a woman in a cycle does not perform any kind of tawaf until she comes out of that cycle. So she can delay it. Okay, she can do it way after and do it all together. Okay, however, scholars now now have permitted for sisters to use delay uh, medicine or delay pill um, to delay their uh, cycle uh, during the time of Hajj. Post Hajj, they can stop using that. However, and some people actually should stop. Some people continue doing it all the way. No, after you completed your Hajj and your main actions, you stop. That's the only condition, okay? Uh, but then some people say, well, women say that, well, I, I want to pray in Masjid al-Haram and I want to, you know, make dua and do extra nafal tawaf. You've complete. you're going for hajj. All of your intention, all of your actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in every individual, every man and woman in a natural way. And this is part and parcel of our life and our sharia. So if it's not far upon you to pray, you don't pray. If it's not far upon you to do tawaf, why are you going to make haraj and difficulty and stress about it? Inshallah, you'll get that reward of that intention. And you make dua. You make dua when you're there. So this is one thing that every year I'm seeing re- recurring. So it's something that you need to understand and obviously plan around and be aware of.